Word 2010 comes with several valuable tools located under the Manage Styles options on the Styles window. From the Manage Styles box, you can do such things as edit, delete, and create new styles. You can disable direct formatting and only allow certain styles to be used. You can even disable theme switching or changing to another quick style set. And, as we've previously seen, you can also access the Styles Organizer and change your default settings. Open the Styles window and view the styles that are here and their order. Now we'll open up the Manage Styles box. It's a third button on the bottom here on the right. There are four tabs, Edit, Recommend, Restrict, and Set Defaults. Let's begin with the first tab that's called Edit. The Sort Order box up here at the top may be a bit confusing. Of course, I say that simply because it was to me. I thought the sort order would change the sort order of the styles window, but it doesn't. All it does is change the sort order of this window. If you've been following along, you'll remember the place to change sort order of the style window and the apply style box is by using the style options box. This box only changes the sort order of this view. The Edit tab allows you to modify all of your different styles, including your list styles, your table styles, and the three other styles that you can modify from other places, which are your paragraph, your character, and your link styles. It also gives you a preview of the style. It will allow you to create a new style, and you can go down to Import Export to get to your styles organizer. The Recommend tab allows you to assign priority levels to your styles in order of importance or how often you use them so that they will show up at the top of your styles list. Values must range between 1 and 100, with 1 being the most important. Check the box that says Show Recommended Styles Only. If you scroll up to the top, you'll see all of our California styles. California Body and California Body Subtitle are probably the most used styles in our catalog since they appear more often on a page than any of our other styles. For example, they would be used more often than the California Heading 1 style as it only appears once on every page in our catalog. Let's assign California Body a value of 1. So click on California Body and then click on the button that says Assign Value. It's already set to 1 here, so just click on OK. Now select California Body Subtitle. We'll give it a value of 2. So click on Assign Value, change the number to 2, and then click on OK. Most of the other California styles are used at least once on a page, so let's select them all and then we'll assign a value of 3. So starting with California Fact File Body, click once, scroll down, hold down your Shift key, and click on California Tour Info Title. That will select all of our styles and we'll click on Assign Value, assign it a value of 3, and then click on OK. We never use a normal because we've assigned styles to everything else in our catalog. So let's find the normal style and we'll assign it a value of 10. So just type in the number 10 and click on OK. Scroll back up and find California phone number. It doesn't appear on every page, so let's click on it. Instead of assigning a value, let's just say that we're going to make it last. So click on the Make Last button. Now what we need to do is change the sort order. So click on OK to save our settings. Go to Options and change these two boxes. The first one needs to say, instead of in current document, Recommended. So select Recommended and in the second box under Select How List is Sorted, click on the down arrow and make sure that that's set as recommended as well. And then click on OK. Notice the change in our Styles window. Our California Body is showing up at the number one position and then California Body Subtitle is showing up here at the top as well. But we have some built-in styles that are getting in our way. So let's get rid of those and hide them. Go back to the Manage Styles button Make sure you're still in the Recommend tab and then click on the button that says Select Built-in. If you scroll down, you'll see that all of the built-in styles are now selected. 
What we want to do is hide them. So with them selected, click on the Hide button. It's down here at the bottom right. In this screen, you can also click on Move Up, Make Less, Move Down, and of course we have seen the assigned value. You have options to Show, Hide Until Used, and Hide, which we just did. Click on OK. And now our styles that we want to use are available and in the priority that we use them. Let's say we need to send our catalog out to others so they may add additional pages. We don't want anyone directly formatting our document. We need for them to use the styles that have been set in place. This is where the Restrict option comes in. You can protect your documents by allowing formatting to be done only by using the styles you have in place. You can even prohibit theme switching or changing to a different style set. Click on the Manage Styles box and go to the Restrict tab. The option down here to limit formatting to permitted styles limits the use of styles to only those that are not marked as restricted. Those that are restricted are locked from use. We only want people to use our California styles we've created throughout our catalog, so let's restrict everything else. Click on Select Built-in. And again, if you scroll through here, you'll see that all of the built-in styles have been selected. And click on Restrict. Now you'll see that a little lock has been applied. When you want to unlock something, of course, you can click on the Permit again. Let's check the boxes at the bottom to limit formatting to permitted styles. We're going to block theme or scheme switching. And we're also going to block quick style set switching. Make sure you don't check Allow Auto Format to override formatting. Click on OK. The Start Enforcing Protection dialog box comes up. This allows you to enter a password to password protect the document from changes. So only you, or those you give the password to, can make changes to this document and unlock the restrictions. We'll leave it blank for now. Click on OK. Now when I go into the document and I click on the first paragraph, notice that I can't bold or italics or underline. There's only a few things that I can do here that are still available. I could paste. I can do a sort, but there are very few other things that I can do at this point. So the only thing that I can do now is apply the styles that are available to me. The Manage Styles box will allow you to edit, recommend, restrict, and change your default settings, which I covered in a previous movie. Putting the power of these settings to use in your documents or work environment may save you or your company an enormous amount of time.